Well, hello and welcome to our fifth part of Lessons on Pentecost. Lessons that are helping us prepare for the baptism of the Holy Spirit and what we can expect as we gather for our Pentecost services tomorrow. So now I want to take us to Acts chapter 2 and look at five things that we can expect tomorrow. Five ways we can prepare our hearts in these next few hours to come and receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We're going to start from Acts chapter 2 verse 37. When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and they said to Peter and the other apostles, brothers, what shall we do? Peter replied, repent and be baptised, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. With many other words he warned them, and he pleaded with them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. And those who accepted his message were baptised, and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. So now five things from that passage to help us prepare our hearts as we come to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit tomorrow. The first is to come relaxed. You see, Jesus promises it to all believers And here Peter re-emphasises that this baptism in the Holy Spirit is available to all believers. So it is normal for a Christian to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, to be baptised and receive power to become a witness of Jesus in all the earth. So relax, come relaxed, ready to receive. The second point is believe, come with faith. And we know through scripture that faith isn't initiated by ourselves. It's initiated by the grace of God. It's a gift to us. So if you have faith in your heart to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, that has been initiated by God. So come with faith. Respond to what God has placed already in your hearts. We can see that in verse 39, where Peter says, for all whom the Lord our God will call. If you've received the call of God in your heart, that has come from him. It's a grace gift to you. So respond to it tomorrow. So relax and believe. Thirdly, repent. Radical commitment to Christ always involves repentance. Turning away from the path we were once on and turning towards Christ. Repent of the things in your heart that have not been of God and come tomorrow having repented before him. So relax, believe, repent and then respond. Peter outlines many ways to respond through these few verses, but here's a couple. The first is that the word of God must be heard. We saw there in verse 37, when the people heard this, they were cut to the heart. If you've been hearing the word of God over the past few weeks and months, you've been responding to the living word of God, then you are somebody who has heard the word of God. You are somebody already prepared for the receiving of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But not only do you have to hear the word, you have to receive the word. Verse 41 says this, those who accepted the message or those who received the message. And receiving the word means that the word becomes so much a part of you that you turn to Christ, the one whom the word presents. So relax, believe, repent, respond and finally expect. Expect. So if you come tomorrow with a heart of expectation that you will receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, that you will receive power and that you will receive power to make you a witness of Jesus in the earth. Christianity is the life-changing experience of the Holy Spirit through faith in Jesus Christ our Lord. So practically what can you expect tomorrow? Well, if you've not yet been baptised in the Holy Spirit at the end of our message that Stuart will bring tomorrow, our prayer teams across our locations would love to pray with you. And they'll be praying not for counsel tomorrow, but for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. They'll lay hands on you and they'll pray for power and power for you to become a witness to Christ here in the earth. Some of our locations will call you to the front and ask you to come forward so that our prayer teams can pray with you. Others, the prayer teams will come out to you. 
but there will be a moment where you'll have to indicate. You might have to raise your hand or you may have to come out. But relax, be prepared for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. For the rest of us who've already been baptised in the Holy Spirit, we'll be praying tomorrow for a fresh filling of the Holy Spirit, fresh anointing, fresh encounter with the Spirit of God tomorrow. Come prepared to receive. We're going to pray communally for the whole community of faith. And we're going to pray individually for those to be baptised by the Spirit for the very first time. I'm praying for you. We're praying for you to receive the Holy Spirit tomorrow. God bless and have a wonderful Pentecost Sunday.